You're watching ESC News. Thank you for joining us. The Cambodian National Short Films Festival organized a seminar to help up-and-coming filmmakers know how to sell their films in the international market. Four leading Cambodian filmmakers were the key guest speakers who led the discussion and shared a lot of wisdom, providing fantastic insight into what to expect when trying to take your film to the international stage. ESC News reporter Anthony Ellis has the details. On Saturday, the 17th of December, the Cambodian National Short Film Festival hosted a special cinema at Chuck Tomok Conference Hall to help inform and inspire local filmmakers on how to sell their films in the international market. The four distinguished guests leading the cinema and answering questions were acclaimed film director Riti Pan, director and producer Leek Linda, producer Loy T, and writer, producer and director Chai Bora. All four speakers shared an insight, advice, and encouraged young filmmakers not to give up and keep trying even when they feel like they are not moving forward or hit a dead end. Director Chai Bora said, You must study your target area, your genre, and the international audience. Every country has different ways of seeing films. Some countries love horror, while others like drama. Producer Loy T also spoke about the experience of selling a film to Netflix, saying it is not long process that made it easier through a proper sales agent and will require having all the right boxes ticked in order to meet the long list of technical specifications the stream services ask for. Chai Bora was delighted to speak with EAC News about the importance the Cambodian National Short Film Festival is for the younger generation starting out in the film industry. Uh, this is very important for especially the young generation that they start uh, the career, uh, w w want to become a film producer, director or writer. And the, the, the short film festival is like testing step for them to become the professional level. So they can uh, try their talent by producing two, three minute, five minute uh, movie yeah, for this competition. and then. Uh, of course, they, they will get the award when they, they are the outstanding one. And the big production, they were looking for the good one to, to be recruited. Chai Boy also remarked that it is difficult for members of the film industry in Cambodia because the country lacks a proper film school, so young filmmakers have to start from scratch and learn a lot by themselves. Yeah, if you want to become a real filmmaker in the future, you have to start from the scratch, right? From writing, keep writing, keep writing, uh, reading, writing, and watch a lot of movie, right? And start to shoot one minute, two minute short film, and show the film to your friend, right? To the producers, yeah, and uh, it will take time, right? One or two years, then you might be, can meet the big production to recruit you. This is my advice. If you just uh, take it as a hobby, um, I don't think you become a, a real filmmaker in the future. Producer Loy T also spoke to EAC News and why he thinks the National Short Film Festival is important to Cambodia. I think the National Short Film Festival in Cambodia is something that's very important for us because Cambodia industry right now, we're kind of like in the beginning of this new golden age. There's a lot of incubation that's happening right now. And festivals like this is what's giving a platform for the next generation of filmmakers to express themselves, to experiment, and to get a chance to exchange with more um, senior filmmakers or people that have been in the industry for a while. Lloyd well, T also extended some advice for the new generation of filmmakers in Cambodia, stressing that the new generation must keep having hope, and this is an industry for passion. I know that if you're talking with like filmmakers that are really part of the industry right now, um, it can come up as a very pessimist world because there's so much challenge to make it out there. Um, but I want the, the next, the new generation has to keep having hope. Uh, it's an industry of passion. We're all working in this because we love making films, we love sharing stories, uh, and you've got to have that passion and you've got to like work at it. You need to work hard to make it out there. Um, I would say. Always be open to listening to criticism. Uh, it's the best thing you can do. Don't be close-minded thinking that uh, you've, got, you've got it and that you know better than others. And that's an advice for any generation or any age. Cinema attendee and film enthusiast Leng Leng shared that she found very inspiring to get this special insight from the movies and shakers of the local film industry. I, uh, I love the topic. Uh, it's very inspiring to hear the insights from those uh, mover and the shaker in the industry, namely the very um, accomplished uh, 
uh, film director and producer in Cambodia. So it was very uh, encouraging and inspiring to hear their practical uh, experience and feedbacks and insights. She added that her biggest takeaway from the cinema was to make sure you start off with a good script and story to tell, and also value of reconstinguishing the film industry as a major economic driver in Cambodia. To me, just start with a good script, good story to tell, uh, write good script, come up with very creative and deep thinking, um, storytelling that can move the audience. We need to think about film industry as the, another economy, like um, film economy. Um, we, um, it's very good to, to do so that um, there, we need to think of um, policy that can support the filmmakers. For example, tech break, the tax uh, break for the filmmakers could help motivate them to make films. So yeah, they got a budget and money to, to pursue their dream stories and film. Overall, around 200 people attended this special cinema organised by the Cambodian National Film Festival. The festival concluded with the Star Studded Awards ceremony on Tuesday the 20th of December.